Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Now I do love me a pegboard and I care to do some fantastic pegboards. So I put this fantastic one up in my workshop to tidy up all my tools. It holds everything from a standing life down to my collection of interesting screwdrivers and blades and all my protective equipment for doing my resin printing. And it's lovely. Only problem is I filled it up a lot and there's not a lot of space left on it and there's this little bit of space down here on the bottom right which I'd love to fill up with another one and I was thinking to myself could I 3d print myself a mini one that I could just put there attached to the wall and then I wouldn't have to bother drag myself to Ikea even though I do like the meatballs and just plonk it right here instead of having to actually go out and buy one myself so I jumped on Bamboo's online marketplace and found a fantastic file for IKEA Scandis style um, pegboards by a wonderful designer called Chamomile 3D. That's Chamomile like the T underscore 3D. Link in the description below. And uh, yeah, it's a great mini plate that you can basically join together and make bigger plates if you want to, but I only need one small one just to fill this little gap. So let's get on and print ourselves a wall mounted IKEA style pegboard. Before we do however I just want to thank you everyone who has liked and subscribed. Thousands and thousands of you joining now which is absolutely wonderful. If you haven't liked and subscribed now's the best time. Take your cursor, drag it down, fire the subscribe button, give that a click. And welcome to the Meatball and Flat Pack Furniture Appreciation Society, which is 3D printed soup. Any resemblance to other Scandinavian pegboards is purely coincidental. Your house is at risk if you set it on fire. Now let's get on and 3D print ourselves a pegboard. Let's give this a try.
And with that done, I am very, very happy with this. It fits perfectly with the uh, larger one which um, hangs above it, and it fits really, really well in that nice little space. And yeah, I can put my uh, spare hangers on there, I can put my keys on there, I can put my headphones on there, and I can put any of my uh, joy pads I'm not using on there as well. And the nice thing about this design is you can print three or four of them and join them up with special pegs so you can get as big a pegboard as you'd like. And I think I'm going to have to print myself some more for my other uh, retro games console uh, accessories and other things I've got sort of kicking around which could really do with being hung on a wall or put away neatly and not sort of left sprawled across different bookcases and workbenches which is kind of my design aesthetic I have going at the moment. Thank you so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you're in a position to help out the channel, check out our Patreon, where you can get access to all kinds of extras, bits and pieces, and also make suggestions for future videos, and stuff you'd like to see for us in the future. So, thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup. Stay happy and safe. Keep pegboarding.